G'day, that Slot Car Guy here, and welcome back to another Slot Car Review, and it is Sulky Red's turn. Finally, can she, he, or the horse, beat the GDR? Let's find out. So let's stick around, let's do a tear down, let's see how this thing works, and let's see if I can post a quick lap on my track. And I've also got a little bit of a special um, review, I guess you can call it, of an old school Scalatrix accessory. We'll call it an accessory. Stick around, let's uh, check out Sulky together. So welcome back to another slot car review and as I said in the intro, it is Sulky Red's turn. But before I get into Sulky, what was this mysterious Scalatrix accessory I'm talking about? Well, it is the public address system by Scalatrix. Why am I showing this now? Well, it actually reminds me of the horse races when someone's calling the race. Now, it is C211. I couldn't find a release date or time, but if you're playing at home, please let me know because uh, I could not find a release date on it. Now, just take note on the packaging, and I do love packaging. Uh, it has got a yellow and red, well, a red microphone and a yellow speaker. Mine isn't that, and I will show you what it looks like, and I might give you a little demonstration. It is pretty poor, but here we have it. I'll turn it off. So there's your speaker, and I hold it up nice and close with this 364 meter length of wire, and then there's your microphone. Now, let's have a quick listen. How does it sound? Well, it actually sounds pretty bad, but I won't be doing the rest of the video on this because you won't be able to hear me. But I thought, what better time to show this off than a horse slot car? Um, are these collectible? I don't know. What do you think? Uh, let me know at home. But it's very cool. I kind of wish I did find this color. And let me know in the comments if it does come in uh, the red and yellow. If it doesn't, happy days. But that's pretty boring, black and black. So let's move that aside. I thought a nice little cool accessory. And let's go back to Sulky Red. Now this is probably the most anticipated race I've had yet. And I'm actually quite excited to see how it goes against the GDR, which I got wrong. I thought that was going to be the quickest slot car I had at the time, right now, and it wasn't. But, Sulky Red, let's have a quick look around the box. And as always, uh, it is C420, Sulky Red Jewelish Choice, released between 1992 and 94. Um, is it collectible? I'd say it is. I haven't seen many of them, but... As always, we'll zoom in, take a quick look at the box, do a proper tear down, and let's see if Sulky can beat the GDR. Alrighty, let's get stuck into the weird and wonderful Sulky Red, but before we do a tear down, as always, let's take a tour of the packaging, and straight away, it is not what we're used to. Uh, I'll, I'll bring in a, an original or a car from that era to show the differences in packaging, but straight away, this is getting weird. Uh, <laughs> we're talking about a slot horse here, so things are gonna get weirder here on out, I won't lie to you, but look at that. Nice big oversized screen on the front. And if I cover the Scalatric branding, I found that very odd that you would not know that this is A, a slot car, and B, it's from Scalatric. I I'm surprised that they didn't put any branding at the front. And then talking about branding with that beautiful 90s Scalatric brand. I, I do like that, that was a cool era with that bit of that shine on the tee. Really cool. Around to the side, we've got the sticker telling us what we've purchased. C420, Sulky Red, Julie's Choice. And as I said in the intro, 94, 92 to 94, this was released. Around the back, there's a whole lot of info. On the side again, some more information. And back to the front. But I do like this very fancy horse racing lettering. Uh, very fancy. But yeah, cool. I think it's quite unique. Now, if you have OCD, I'm going to give you an OCD warning. Turn away, because if you are a stacker, and is that a thing? I don't know. Let's make it a thing. This will throw you right off. So there you go. That's how different this packaging is. It's taller, it's not as wide, and it's not as long. Look at that. Now, I don't have OCD, but that drives me nuts. Now, I stack this on top of a run of cars. So this is my last thing I stack. But if you are a stacker, this will drive you insane. But I did give you a warning, I, I told you, it's gonna get weird here on out, stay with me. Let's have a look inside. And while I'm opening it up, it's a quick tip bit. If you are a Ninja Turtles fan, they released a Ninja Turtle range of slot cars, which both, I think the Ninja Turtles and the Foot Soldiers, and I'll try and put a picture up, all were placed on this same base. So um, there was a couple of 
slot horses or slot cars that they used this base on, which I think is pretty cool. Now the box graphics, the internals, I really like that. It's blurred, we're, we're going fast, we're passing the finish line. And I'm guessing we came first because the horse is number one. But very, very cool, very unique, very cool. But I do like the inside box sleeve. All right, so let's take Sulky Red off the base. Let's chuck it on some track and let's do a quick tear down to see how this thing goes. All righty, let's get stuck into the tear down and things get a little bit weird and unique from here on out. So I'm used to slot cars. This is very foreign to me. Now this is a two piece and I'll show you what I mean by that is I'll take the horse off. There's your chassis and on top there you'll see a little notch out and that's where the horse just rests. So we'll do the chassis separately. Let's take a look at the horse and the rider and there's that bit of plastic and I'll try and get up to the camera that sticks into that chassis. Now this horse is not mechanical. It is just a model. Nothing on this horse is motorized. It is just a figure sitting on top of that chassis. But it is quite cool. Now let's talk about the rider first. He has got a free spinning axle. Um, does this give you traction? I'd say no. It's more for balance so you're not dragging this guy along. I wouldn't say it gives you any performance benefits, but it does make it a lot easier for young mate here to ride along. Now the plastics that they've used I think is a great choice. It's very flexible and I think if they used hardened plastic these would become very rare because they would have broken over time meaning you wouldn't be able to find a complete horse. So I think that was a smart move that they went with a very flexible plastic because, let's face it, this thing would be bouncing all over the place. Now he's only connected by two little plastic prongs which poke into the side, and I'll show you there. I'm clipping back in, and obviously the main going through, oh, sorry, the, the reins going through the mouth of the horse. So the figure himself, he is holding a whip in one hand and the reins in another. Now size-wise, He's a lot smaller than your original scale electric figures. I don't think he's as tall as they are. So, I mean, jockeys are small, and that's no offense to jockeys, but they're not the biggest people. The horse itself, I think they've done a really good job showing the, the speed this horse is going at. You can see the mane itself is on a bit of an angle. This horse is hoofing down the road. So I really like how they've gone with a, a, the approach with this model. Really cool looking slot model. Now let's look at the chassis. And as I said, this is where things get a little bit weird. I've never seen anything like this before. Um, let's have a look on the outside first. So as I said, horsey sits on top, flip it upside down. Definitely it's an inline motor. Uh, I don't know how else you would run this unless you had a micro sidewinder. It is rear wheel drive. It is definitely rear wheel drive with a magnet that's placed on the base itself. And it only took me one screw to get to get this apart, which is at the rear. On the front, there is a locking tab. And I find back in the era of this time, locking tabs were used a lot to um, keep stuff together, which I don't mind that, it actually works. Uh, obviously, it's got your standard guide, you'll be very familiar with that, but very unique. I do like how it's got a little bit of stance to it. It's not, it's not narrow, it does hold itself when it comes to the width of the actual wheels. So I think that it'll be very stable. But talk about the wheels, they can literally just, I'll see if I can get this one, pull off like so, and you place them back on, which might be an issue when we're racing because that might free spin. I don't think so, or maybe. All right, let's take this apart. And it's as simple as pulling and turning and inside the plastic, we've got nothing. Nothing exciting, but that's okay. This is where it, I've never seen anything like this. And I was surprised when I saw the weight on the front. I'm guessing that's all that is, is just the weight to keep the front down. Now it is rear wheel drive. Everything else is quite normal, inline motor. That, that's not obviously your normal uh, scale electric motor for that time. That's, I'm guessing maybe purpose built for this. Let me know in the comments, I could be wrong. They did use this obviously with the Ninja Turtles models, which I'll throw another picture of, but very cool. Very clean design, but that's unique. Look at that. And does that come off? Yeah, it does. But I like that. But there you go. There's Sulky Red. That's what we're running with. If you took Sulky off and just ran this by itself, I wonder how fast it would go. Imagine hotting this up and running it as like a micro um, slot car. But that is Sulky Red. That's what makes Sulky run. Let's put him back down there. Now, this is where the fun starts. Let's chuck Sulky on the track. Uh, I'm not going to sand the tires. It's straight out of the box. And let's see if I can do five laps and how fast we can go.
So I took the gamble on purchasing Scalatrix Sulky Red. Did it pay off? Well, unfortunately, no, it didn't. Um, the quickest I could get out of the five cleanest laps, which you've just seen, was a 25.69. And I have updated the SRC Chrono Complex board. And as you can see, by far, it's the slowest slot car that I've had around my track. A couple of reasons why. And let's break it down. All the weight is in the front. Even during my teardown, you could see there's this massive weight on the front which is pushing the slot car or the slot horse on its front nose. There's a small magnet at the rear which I didn't see. It did nothing on my track and I was getting no traction at the rear because this is rear wheel drive only. Now, if you're going to race a class and you change the tyres, put some weight in it, yes, this thing would be very quick. I think this would be very, very quick. Maybe I should do a video down the track of modifying this. Uh, I might get another one and just do one modified and one not. But as is, factory fresh, an honest review. This is how I like to do it. It wasn't very good out of the box. Now, it might run different on Scalatrix track, Ninko track, I don't know. I'm running Carrera. That's how it turned out for me. Now, do I recommend this for a collector? Definitely. If you're a collector, you'd, get, you'd grab anything. But this is definitely special. I think this is a very unique item. It's not your normal slot car. Yes, if you're a racer, if you like horses, get it. If you can start a club with you know four of these wide, yes, do it. Only if you're allowed to modify them because as is out of the box, no good. I would actually be interested to see how this runs on a wooden track. Now, I believe Mr. Slot Car in Hallam does have a video on his web page or his old website of these running around a wooden track and I think they went very, very well. So if you do have a wooden router track at home, might be a different story, but this is how mine was. But as always, at that slot car guy on Instagram, thanks for the support, everyone. I think I've got 800 plus subs now. I'm getting close to the 1K. Jump on Instagram, please follow me there. I love chatting on that. Uh, the private messaging and the videoing in that is really, really good for streaming. So jump over there if you wanna have a chat. I'm always available, if I'm not sleeping, uh, to have a chat about slot cars or anything in general. But as always, guys, be safe, take care, ciao.